Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel. I am excited to be hanging out with you today, starting out makeup free, because today's palette is going to be full of sparkles and full of color, and I figured we might have a hot mess situation here once we start playing, but I am excited to bring you this BYOP. Today we are going to be doing a red, white, and blue palette. Yes, that is right. We are just about at the 4th of July, which seems crazy, and I know that a lot of people say this when they talk about videos, like, wow, it's almost July already, but seriously, y'all, I cannot believe it is almost July. Now, if you are new to this series, this is the BYOP series, the Build Your Own Palette series that I started with my friend Kara over at Beauty in the Frizz, and we were just chatting one day, talking about our single shadow collections, how large they are, and, you know, really wanting to get more use and enjoy them more. So we thought building a palette every month centered around a theme would be a lot of fun, and over time, a few more creators have hopped in. I know that we have been very lucky to have Kendra Morgan Official join us here. This is a totally no pressure situation. So we just really wanted people to join in when they feel like it. If I do know other creators that are joining in on this one, I will have them linked down below, of course, as well as Kendra and Kara, because I would love for you to check out their videos. And if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real, real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like more BYOPs. Next month, Wow, I cannot believe this, but next month is the one year anniversary of this series. We have a fun BYOP planned for next month. Well, they're all fun, <laughs> but we have an extra special one planned for next month to celebrate the anniversary of this series. So, okay, so red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue for me is a bit out of my comfort zone. It is definitely not in my wheelhouse of what I would normally wear, but I wanted to have fun with this one. I'm, I'm thinking that I did okay. I tried to pick out some things that I felt like were still in that vibe, but that still maybe had a little, a little bit of difference. I don't know. As I look here, I don't think I went quite as different as what I was thinking I was going to, but I also wanted to pull out some shades that I haven't used a lot before. And I have some new ones because I, I recently did a pretty big purchase from Glam Shop. So I have some new, new to me Glam Shop shades in here as well. Okay. We're just gonna like dive right into this, but this is the palette that I have for you today. We definitely have some fun sparklies in here. And like I said, some color, which is why I figured we should start on a naked face because I don't know, I don't know where this is all gonna end up. I don't have any idea what I'm gonna do with this, but, <laughs> but I really did try to pick out a palette that I could see myself using and have fun with. So we're gonna dive into that. I am going to be swatching all of these shades for you. Of course, I'll give you all the deets and have them listed down in the description box. And we're gonna do a look together. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so I've adjusted the lighting and everything a little bit so that we can hopefully get a really nice true view of these colors. And I will say that this is a slightly more heavy, like Glam Shop heavy palette because I did get quite a few new things. So I was really excited to pull some of these out. This first one is a Glam Shop shade and this is Carrara. This is a white, y'all. It is a matte white. And I was actually really inspired to pull this one out kind of because of Angelica Neekfist, because I know that she talks about using like a matte white for an inner corner shade. And I just thought that this would be a really nice one to be able to have to even blend out shades within this palette. So I, I thought that this could be a lot of fun. So we're going to try to use this one today in the look. I don't think I've ever done a matte white inner corner. I don't know if that's what I'll end up doing, but I do have a shade in here that I am looking forward to using possibly as an inner corner or maybe as a as an all over the lid shade. I do really love this one. This is actually newer to my collection as well. This is Nerds from Davina. Let me go ahead and pop this down just a little bit more. Ah, there we are. So this is a very light like blue with I would say almost like a greeny reflect. I wanted something that was, you know, light blue, but had a little bit of fun to it. So you can see here. So there you can see that one. Wow, my fingers are stained from swatching. I was definitely trying to find like the perfect colorful shades in this. And I totally, totally got very, very stained. Okay, there we go. I just like zoomed you in just a little bit more. So this actually is a blue, but it has that green flip to it because it has so much like gold and slightly limey green shimmer to it. So this is gonna be a fun one. I wanted colors that were like slightly, I don't wanna say unexpected, but you know, slightly different and multi-purpose so that you could really use this palette in multiple ways. So this next shade that we're going to use 
is one that I just thought would be a good a good roundup. This was actually the last one I picked out. I wanted to have a nice little neutral shade in here. This shade is Peach Fuzz from Sydney Grace. And really, it's just a nice like medium neutral brown. Um, I wanted something that had a little bit of depth to it and something that you could use because the rest of the mattes that I chose are pretty colorful. This palette is definitely more sparkle heavy, so I felt like I needed some good grounding shades and a good rich brown is something that I thought could really be used in this very, very sparkly, colorful palette. Wow, that's really interesting that that just like stained like that. Now I'll be honest, I don't feel like Sydney Grace mattes really swatch the best. I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't like do us any favors here, but I swear it's a beautiful color. I'm sure I'm gonna end up using it on my eyes today, so you will get to see that. So here is one that I am so excited to have in this palette. I'm so excited to use this. Uh, this is Jasper, and this is one that I recently picked up in that order from uh, Glam Shop. So this is like, a lot of people have been doing those, and by a lot of people, I mean a lot of companies have been doing the like very foiled, very metallic, like metal shades. So I know Terra Moons did them, Divina Cosmetics did them, Glam Shop has obviously also done them, but look at this. So I picked up several. I will be doing a Glam Shop. I'm either gonna do a haul video or like do a full collection swatch video. I might end up doing both, I don't know, but the rest of my Glam Shop haul will be coming to you at some point. But I did pick up quite a few of the like more rich metal shades. And let me tell you, this texture is amazing. I, I love a good, I love a good Glam Shop shadow. Their formula is just amazing. Like they are flaky in the pan. Like they can create a hot mess in your palettes. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's like sh shadow shrapnel everywhere. Like. As I just like put this down, a bunch of flakes just came off. So they are messy, but you know, uh, sometimes high maintenance is worth it. And in this case, I would agree because this is just so buttery. It's flaky in the pan, but it doesn't present that way in swatching. And the feel of it is so like emollient that I don't think it's going to be that way in the eye. I don't know because I haven't used it yet, but I really think that these are gonna be very, very beautiful. Okay, now let's go ahead and start getting into some color. So this is the shade Unholy. And if you have the Paprika palette from Glam Shop, you have this one in a palette. I have the Paprika palette. Did I get the shade to be able to use in BYOPs? Yes, possibly. I do really like the shade. Uh, it is not a true red though. It is more of like a, mm, like a poppy red, you know? Like it has that like, not quite, I don't, I don't wanna say it's like, it's like a mix of red and pink and orange. Like a really dark, deep, saturated coral red. I mean, but look at that. Like, I think that this is a quote unquote wearable red that I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with. I'm gonna need, thank God this is only a 10 pan palette because I'm making these swatches quite big. <laughs> okay. All right, so here we have another Glam Shop shade. This is the shade Catchy. This might also be from the uh, Paprika palette. I will check in just a moment after we swatch this one, but this for me, I think that a lot of people like in a red, white, and blue palette or, you know, like a 4th of July palette, a lot of people would maybe think to put a gold in a palette. But honestly, y'all, I feel like gold, I mean, we all have like your basic gold in palettes already. I am not one to wear those all the time. So this, if you can see here, I mean, you can see that it's definitely got like a fun little shift to it. So... I like that it has like almost like a little bit of like a peach. It has almost like a goldy green and it's sheer enough where you could use it as a topper shade. So I think that this just really gives that like vibe of gold with something way more fun, way more unique. It is not in the Paprika palette, by the way. I did just go check that. So here is one that is not Glam Shop. It's not Glam Shop. <laughs> this is Celestial from Terra Moons. Now, I am not... I'm not one to usually steer towards blues. Like it's just not something that I usually go towards, but there was something about this when it launched. I remember seeing it in swatches on the Terra Moons uh, Instagram page. And I was like, ooh, there is just something so fun about this. It's like, what is that shade called? Is it cornflower blue? Like there's just something 
unique to this blue. It's not navy. It's not your primary blue. It's a little bit different. This one does have like tiny little reflex of almost like a violet to it. Oh, okay, this is giving me Superwoman vibes right here and I am here for it. I really like that. So here is a Glam Shop shade that I got quite a while ago and I really haven't been utilizing it enough. This is Blue Hollow from Glam Shop. This is obviously one of their hollow shades. I'm not sure if you can get these anymore. I don't think that they had all of the hollows available on the website anymore, if they do have any. Um, which is a shame because these were, if you like a good holographic, these were great. These were probably one of like the best hollow shades that I've ever seen. You're probably not even going to see the magic there, but uh, it definitely has a ton of little like holographic multi-colored shim shim to it. I thought that, boy, there is no time, there is no time like a 4th of July palette like a beautiful red, white, and blue palette to bring this one onto the scene. Like I said, this is one that I just don't utilize a lot, but the couple times that I have worn it, it is very beautiful. So I thought it would be perfect to throw in here. We have one more red shade, and this is one that I just love. This is one of the velvet shadows from Glam Shop. This is Lover, and boy, she is beautiful. This is a red satin shade with a bunch of like red and pink shimmer running through. I don't know if you can like see that. Sorry, I feel like I've been like finger painting, but look how saturated that color is. Wow. And this just has oh, that color, like that shimmer that you are seeing is not, it's not like super glittery and it's not like a metallic shade. It is a satin with just so much like micro shimmer to it. Oh, it's just so fun. Okay, one last shade. This one is newer to my collection. This is Candy from Divina Cosmetics. Y'all, look look at that shade. This is so fun. Like this is to me, it's kind of like a showstopper blue. This is this is not your mama's blue. I mean, seriously, y'all, this blue, when I swatched it, I was blown away. Blown away. <laughs> I mean, can you even like, <sighs> ooh, yeah, this is a fun one. Now I could have gone, I originally was thinking I was gonna go more like grungy red, white, and blue, but I think that there's just something, I mean, I, I blended that out quite a bit and it's still so saturated. Like, I think this is gonna be a fun one to play with. I wanted to challenge myself to have some brights, but I think you also have some like neutral shades or shades that could be neutral enough that this is going to be a fun one. So I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see all of these close up. I will run So I started off just with a little bit of concealer on my eyelid. I went through with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This for me has just been a little too dry to use on my under eye. Uh, now that it's summertime, it might not be so bad, but what I've found it really good for is just to use as a lid primer because then it definitely helps like reduce creasing. Not that I really have that that much, but it does. And then of course I get some coverage over my, uh, my eyelids because I have veining and staining and all of those fun things. So. Let's go ahead and play with some red, white, and blue shadow, y'all. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I, the thing about this is anytime that I try to build a BYOP and I share it, I want to use all of the shades, but that just is not possible without looking like a hot mess. And I really don't have the time to do two looks. So I definitely want to use that candy shade. Like this is just such a fun one. It's so like, so out of the box for me. So I do think I'm gonna try to use that. I almost wish I could like pull the audience, you know? I just have zero idea what I'm gonna be doing. I think I might start out on the lid though because I want to use a couple colors on the lid. And so then that way I can just like decide what I'm gonna use in the crease after that, I think. I think that's the way I'm gonna go. All right, we're starting out with Lover. I am going to Start with this on the center of the lid. I don't want this to be like too, like 
red, white, and blue. So I want some gradient, but I don't want it to be like, <laughs> too like Americana looking, you know what I mean? I mean, it obviously is going to be just because of the, the palette, like the color story here, but I just want it to be like slightly different. So I'm just gonna start with this and then we'll see what we decide to add in. So I've talked about doing a like tips for wearing red eyeshadow video. Um, several people said that they'd be interested in that. So I will definitely do that in the future. I think in this case, like it's more of like an accent color, which I mean right there, that's one way that you can, <laughs> that you can do that is really not make it like the main focus, but just really like use it in conjunction with other shades. But I like that. I feel like I'm starting clown makeup though, like just from that shape and the color. We're, we're not going with clown makeup, hopefully. Oh, by the way, in case you're curious, that was the Spectrum A19. Now I'm gonna move in with a Refer 21 and we're gonna take that Celestial shade, Celestial shade, and we're gonna pop that on the outer corner. Now, obviously anywhere that I like blend these two together, I'm going to get a little bit of like a purple just because we're mixing red and blue. And I'm okay with that. Okay, so now with a Refer 28 brush, I'm gonna take some of that Jasper shade. So this is that like metallic-y nude, if you will. I am anticipating a lot of fallout with this one, which again, that's why I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna wait to do my face because I have a, I have a good feeling I'm gonna have a lot of fallout here. And I really need to start off by like laying this down further away from the red and not touch the two together too much because once I do that, that that red from Lover is gonna like start to make this look pink, I think. Ooh, I like this. It's almost like my skin tone on shiny steroids. <laughs> so I've just wiped that brush off a little bit and I'm just gonna like blend the edge a smidge. Every time I look at a cut crease look on myself, I do not like it. Like, I, I don't. So I always just like blend it out a tiny, tiny bit. And then we're just gonna wiggle this right into that lover shade. I mean, this is definitely not a like chill, just going to the grocery store look, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, so now we're gonna take, we're gonna take a bit of that candy shade and that's gonna be what we use above our crease on the outside. Taking a Blend Bunny B1. I think I wanna keep this like from getting too blown out because the shade, since it has that like slight bit of teal to it, I don't wanna get too green on my skin tone. Whew, yeah, okay. I like it. So now we're gonna take, okay, so now I'm gonna take a B4 brush and I'm gonna take that white shade. Uh, that was Carrara, I think. And I'm just going to use that to like, just really, really softly like blend this edge here. Okay, and then I think I'm just gonna like take this and really intensify the outer part of my brow bone. Woo, boy, that actually like really makes a difference. Okay, now, see so here's the thing, cause now I'm like, okay, this is, this is taken to a point where I feel like we're good. We are good. I would probably just normally do a little bit of that peach fuzz along the lower lash line, probably the white on the inner corner and like call it a day. But I feel like I should use at least one more of these shades. So that leaves me probably with like uh, one of these two for like a lower inner, I'm not gonna do it on the inner corner, but like a lower pop. That could be kind of cool. I really like that maybe, or that. Oh, I don't know. All right, I think what I need to do is I'm gonna go clean this up. I'm gonna put a little makeup on and I'll come back and we can finish the lower lash line. Okay, I feel a little bit better now that I have more makeup on, but Jeremy came home while I was <laughs> getting ready and he was like, what's the theme? <laughs> So it's very obvious that he does not like this. Uh, but he said that I, I think he was trying to like be somewhat complimentary, but he said that it reminded him of, of a macaw bird. So take that for what you will, but we're gonna keep on going. <laughs> so I think I've decided to use uh, this catchy shade, this like more like warm shade. 
we'll see. I'm gonna pop a little bit on here. I'm just gonna use this start out. The problem is, is like, it's so flaky. I just don't wanna get it all over my face. So we're gonna start it out like at the inner corner here, or like not even the inner corner. We're starting it out at like the lower lash line. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It, if I were to wet my brush, I think that this would probably be you know, more of that like foiled golden, but I'm not sure that I want that. I feel like the weight of this look is like already so much that I think keeping it a little bit more airy out here is okay. Okay, I like that. It just adds enough, like it's a little bit, if some were to look, you know, it's, it's different enough from the shade that's on the top. I like it. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna take Peach Fuzz and just run this along the lower lash line on the outer corner. And then I'll take a little bit of the white and pop that on the inner corner just to brighten that up. Uh, by the way, I meant to say, if you're wondering which bronzer I used, I just used this uh, palette from the original House Labs. Uh, this is the Heat Spell Duo in Desert and Dawn. So I use both the bronzer and the highlighter. I feel like this is a good like bronzery moment and I'm cool with that. So now what do you think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna find a navy blue eyeliner. I'm gonna pop that in my lower waterline, put on lots and lots of mascara, and I will see you. I'll probably just whack on a nude lip of some sort. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here is the final look. I just wanted to give you a zoomed in look before we talk a little bit about the palette and what's coming next month. So I really do enjoy this look. It's obviously very dramatic. Like this is not, like I said, you're going to the grocery store makeup. I mean, I would go to the grocery store wearing this makeup. I just wouldn't put this on just to go to the grocery store. And by the way, I used the Water Lily Lip Stain from Odin's Eye. That's what I have on. I think it goes really well. I think just with so much going on on the eyes, just having like a bronzery glowy moment with a little bit of lip color is what I needed. I probably should have thrown on some lashes with this, but I just don't give a damn right now. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. So this is definitely like out of my wheelhouse a little bit, partially in the like, the blueness of it, partially in, you know, the like super highlighted brow bone, the matte inner corner. I do really like this white though. I will definitely have to try it with some different colors and maybe something that isn't right up next to like a nudie champagne. I think it would work better with like a more contrasting tone, but I do really like this. So let's go ahead. I have some final thoughts on this palette and I can't wait to tell you about next month. Okay. Wow. Now with like <laughs> being zoomed out, I think you can see like, uh, a, I have to say that I feel like a matte, very light brow bone has really like lifted my facial features and that inner corner. It's definitely a way to like get a little more sculpture out of your face. Uh, it also helps that I have quite a bit of bronzer on. So this palette, I really enjoy this. I think that you could definitely get a more traditional red, white, and blue look out of this, but I do like the fact that it's a little different too. Like this isn't necessarily like grungy, but it isn't your primary red, white, and blue either. And I, I do really enjoy that. I think that there are so many opportunities within this. Who knows? Maybe I will have to pull this out over the holiday weekend and use it a little bit. I think you could get a sheer wash of color by using some of these lighter shades. You could do something, you know, very simple, like one shadow all over the lid, one in the crease. I didn't end up pulling in that like fun, uh, unholy shade from Glam Shop. I'll have to do that. So I'll definitely have to keep this out and maybe uh, over the holiday weekend, I'll have to pull out a look out of this. So make sure that you're following me on Instagram and keep beauty real and make sure that you go ahead and head over to Kara and Kendra's channels and you can check out any other content creators that I know that are doing this video. As the videos roll out, I will be posting them down below and trying to add them to the playlist. So I do have a playlist of all of these BYOP uh, videos. I do try to add everybody every month. It doesn't always happen. If you see that you had one and you didn't get added, DM me on Instagram or like, I don't know, shout it out in the comments here and I will make sure to add you. But I really encourage any of you who are wanting to do this BYOP and you're not a content creator, if you wanna share in the fun, share with us your color story, you can always tag me on Instagram and I will go ahead and pop it in my stories because I just love seeing everybody's palettes. We've had a lot of people say that this has really been inspiring and it's helped to make people pull out their sins shadows more often and that's really what it's all about so I want to thank you all for hanging out with me I do want to talk about next month like I said this is going to be our one-year anniversary I cannot believe it like Kara and I were talking at Marco Polo and I was like wow one year that is just 
crazy. So we really wanted this to be somewhat interactive and also very inspirational. So what we're going to do is we are going to be taking an image that one of you has chosen. So, so I think what we're going to do is maybe like take a few pics from people and I'll post on my community tab here and over in my stories on Instagram and let people vote on the inspirational picture. So when I say picture, I don't necessarily mean like a makeup look. It can be a makeup look, but it could also be a beautiful sunset. It could be something like super summery. Sorry, I think Jeremy's moving some, some tools. Uh, it could be like, you know, a beautiful summery, look. It could be like a dress that you love the pattern of, like whatever. It could be whatever, just something that you want to draw inspiration from. We will be taking those in and we'll pick a few to have you vote on. So if you do want to participate, if you have an image, something that you want us to draw creative inspiration from, make sure that you DM that over on Instagram. Again, that's Keep Beauty Real. And make sure that you are subscribed here so you don't miss out on that poll because that will be coming to my community tab really soon. Kara will have it on hers. I'm sure Kendra will have it on hers. And then we'll just let like draw in from those votes. So if you really, really feel strongly, you could vote on all three channels. I'm just saying. Anyway, lovelies, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this red, white, and blue palette. I hope that you have a good holiday weekend if you are in the United States. I'm not going to get into it, but I know we've got a lot to work on in this country right now, and that's something that we definitely need to focus on, but I hope that you also get to focus on some time with family and friends, enjoy some sunshine, and really like feed your soul, because that's also important. So that's it. I'm going to start to get rambly, and this video has probably already been really long. So don't forget to give this video a like if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you really soon.